Hi there, I'm Nick Padmore, the writer of Parallel. Uh, the idea came from something I've been obsessed with for a while. It's, um, it's a story that the sci-fi author Philip K. Dick tells about how one day he walked into his bathroom and reached for the light switch um, and realised that actually there never had been a light switch. It had always been a light cord. Um, and that that made him think that somehow something had gone wrong with the fabric of reality. And I love that idea of something so so tiny um, that that tips you off to the fact that there's something much, much bigger going wrong. Um, and that's that's really where Parallel came from, uh, a sort of obsession with the idea of parallel universes um, and the little telltale signs that give away things that are going on in, in entirely different worlds. Uh, it always, it pretty much always takes about the same amount of time for me to write a script. Um, I, I spend a day, a week, a solid day a week, because uh, I have another job too. Uh, so I spend one day a week writing and it usually takes about three months to get to a finished first draft. Um, and that includes kind of one or two days of, of planning it all out. And then the rest of the time is is writing and refining. Um, as to when I get to a finished draft, I'm still waiting for that. Uh, so I'll let you know. Um, mostly I write stories about sort of the un unsung heroes of history or, or people that we should probably know a bit more about. Uh, I've just finished one about Dr. Martin Cooney, who was not actually a real doctor, um, but in the... Um, in the, the, the late 19th century, uh, popularised the, the infant incubator while also running fairground attractions on um, at Coney Island um, and saved thousands of babies' lives despite being ridiculed by the medical profession for his entire career. Um, so that's that's kind of my, my comfort zone. Uh, this is my very, parallel is my very first sci-fi actioner uh, and it was a lot of fun to write. I've never had any formal screenwriting training. I picked it all up really from writing, uh, reading scripts and writing scripts, bad ones at first, uh, getting feedback and then improving over time. Um, and uh, But I do write for a living. So I, I write um, not screenplays, but I write, uh, for, I'm a copywriter in marketing and, and branding. So I write ads and websites and, and things like that. Scriptapalooza was actually the first uh, screenwriting contest I ever entered uh, a couple of years ago now um, and I've, I've entered it two years in a row entirely because of the year of support that they give you uh, if you make it to, to the semi-finals um, because uh, you know I went through uh, Movie Bytes uh, which is a really useful resource if you haven't heard of it but um, I went through that and just looked at all the contests and kind of cross-referenced the ones that have a bit of cachet um, but also the ones that give you the best chance of, of breaking into the industry. Um, I wasn't really looking for a big financial prize, uh, just that support 